Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I am back with another video. For this video, I have a kind of like fall vibes type of set I was going for. Some yellow with some plaid. Anyways, the acrylic powders I'll be using in today's video is No Houses Mellow, um, which is the yellow color, then Zule's Black Hole, and then as always, this Me Secret Cover Pink in that crown dish. The tips that I have on are Color Creamery 3XL Square Tips, and I'll be using No Houses Size 16 Kalinsky Brush as well as their Monomer as always. So just like the previous video with the gray crack nails, this video is quite old. Um, I did these before all of the Halloween sets. So this was giving like fall or kind of past fall now, but I still wanted to give you guys the video. So I'm going to begin on the index finger nail with mellow, this yellow here. I like to begin with my solid colors and my lighter colors just so that I don't get them, you know, contaminated with any darker colors. I don't want to get any black into this. So that is what I will be doing. I also be applying these colors very thinly because I will be capping them all. Also, anyone interested in shopping Nail House can use my code Portia at checkout to save money on your order, as well as all the brands that I listed or that I mentioned in the video is listed in the description box below. Also, speaking of Nail House, they just dropped some new goodies. Um, they have this new Christmas build a box that is available on their site. You can build your own um, box with your Christmas glitters and all of that. And they also have new essentials, y'all. They have um, a bunch of different new essentials like nail files, um, sanding bands, tips, all of that. Super excited for that. I highly recommend you guys go ahead over and check those out. And don't forget to use my code Portia at checkout. I do have some unboxing videos coming for you guys with some of No House's new products or oh, a couple of um, new things as well. But like I said, I'm super behind. So um, those videos are old now, but I still am going to show you guys unboxings. But yeah, these are just the glitters that No House has for now. I mean, now for their Christmas collections and all of that. They're super pretty. I have some of them, but they dropped a ton new more. A ton new more. <laughs> a ton of newer ones. So yeah. Highly recommend you guys go over there and check them all out. All right, so now I'm just applying this color to this full nail. Um, like I told you guys, I was going kind of for a fall look. I don't know if like pastel yellow is like fall vibes, but to me this that was kind of fall vibes. I wanted to go with something different and I wanted to do something yellow. I kind of just freestyled this set as I went along, just, you know, kind of came up with it. But I didn't know that I wanted to do like, a, um, I wanted to make this nail in particular like, um, floral with butterflies and like um gucci designer like foil on the background like yeah also wanted to incorporate some yellow plaid for like that fall vibe and some black um yeah but i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys finish watching me i'm gonna make this one um here as well full yellow like the other one um and i'm gonna let you guys finish watching me do that First though, I wanted to also say that I'm sorry that you guys didn't get much fall content or any really at all fall content nails. Like I said, I, I was kind of forced to abruptly take a break from social media, so I didn't get a chance to do those. But um, I'm going to try my very best to get out some um, Christmas and winter content for you guys. I wanted to do something like um, 25 days of Christmas, like content wise. Um, I thought that would have been super fun, but as I said, I'm super behind and I guess I just have to kind of see what I can do.
all right so after having done that i'm gonna go ahead and begin to cap these two nails just to go ahead and get it out of the way for now and then i'm gonna work on the um plaid nails i'm gonna be doing an ombre plaid All right, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the ring fingernail now with the foil that I told you guys about. I'm gonna go ahead and use this McCart um, foil glue. This, I'm sorry, y'all, the way the bottle looks is super old and I don't know what all of that is. I'm just sure it's like build up gel, polish, all type of things, nails. But anyways, I'm gonna apply that to the nail. I cured it for, um, I, I believe I've cured it for two minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and use this foil here that I got from AliExpress. I loved this um, yellow plaid foil. I was looking for some like this um, for like fall vibe sets. So that's what I did. I got it from AliExpress and now I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the nail. Um, this foil is new. It's missing on the beginning because I did try to do um, this like once before this here now and I didn't like the way it came off. Um, it can be really tricky dealing with foil that's not clear that has like patterns on it. Um, I don't know if anyone else kind of struggle with it a little bit um, other than me. But yeah, I kind of do a little bit not so much with the clear foil but with kind of like um, like you know colored foil that's like this. So I did end up I did end up applying it twice to the nail like I applied two layers of the plaid just so that it can be full coverage because in some places it didn't come off even when I tried to like go back over it again um it's not perfect but you can't really tell as you're looking super close and that's okay um I don't know if I need to get a new because that full glue is kind of like super duper old so maybe I need some more um I don't know but in my experience, um, colored foil like this with patterns and stuff like that that's not clear is always tricky to use. Anyways, I went ahead and top coated that foil and cured it so that I can apply some acrylic over top. If you do not top coat your foil and you're going to be using acrylic over over it, like to ombre or whatever you're going to do, um, if you go straight in without top coating it, the pattern or foil will like disappear and dissolve. Um, let me repeat that again. If you do not apply top coat over your foil, once you apply acrylic, it will dissolve and disappear. So be sure to apply top coat um, over the nail and then going in with your acrylic or whatever. So like I said, I did that and I apply a thin layer of clear acrylic over the top coat just so that when I begin to ombre, it's easier for it to ombre. It's not so easy if you don't apply. That's another step that you don't want to miss. If you're ombre and you went ahead and applied your top coat already, go ahead and apply some like a very thin layer of clear acrylic over that um, top coat that you just applied down so that when you ombre, if you're ombre, um, it's able to blend better. Because if you just go straight in without um, applying any clear acrylic to the bottom of it it won't ombre so well so yeah now i'm going to be using um of course me secrets cover pink to ombre this nail and then i'm just applying it all very thinly because i will be capping it in clear
all right so that is how the nails looking so far it looks a little crazy right now but i'm gonna go ahead and um cap it and clear and then i'm gonna move on to the next nail All right, so that is how we're looking after capping the nails. It's super cute already. I'm loving it. Next, I'm going to go in on the thumbnail and create that same exact design that I just did on the ring fingernail. And then we're going to work on the pinky because the pinky will be black. I don't want to contaminate, um, again, my monomer or, you know, acrylic with that black. So... I did apply two coats of that full again to this thumb part here. This thumb part came out a little worse than the ring finger part, but hey y'all. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna, you know, stress about it. I just kind of did what I could, like my best, and moved on. It's not that noticeable. I'll let you look really, really close once the nail was clapped caps and all of that sorry all about that noise just there i don't like to do these um voiceovers too many times like i don't like to do too many takes so i kind of just leave stuff in and it also shows you guys that i'm not perfect when i skip over you know like when i'm um what am i trying to say when i fumble over my words and all of that um yeah i'm not doing that i'm not doing a billion takes anyways um that noise was just my nails rubbing on the back of my phone case. As you guys just know, I just came out with Crafted by Portia, where I offer kawaii, charm, cases, luxury, all of that good stuff. If you guys want to purchase a case from me, a custom handcrafted case from me, you can check the link in the description below. Visit my Instagram page, Crafted by Portia, and order your cases. Also, like I told you guys in the previous video, I will be, well, the next upcoming videos will be some videos of just me unboxing my charms and all of that for my, the cases and showing you guys, like I also recorded some videos of me making some cases and you guys will be seeing all of that and the giveaway, um, the giveaway video will be coming soon. So stay tuned. Right now, I'm just, um, I already went ahead and applied the foil, top coated it, applied the thin layer of acrylic, clear acrylic onto the, like, down there by the foil. And now I'm just using Me Secrets Cover Pink, um, of course, to ombre the um, nail. And next, I'm going to go ahead and cap it and clear. And then we're going to move on to the pinky nail. All right, y'all. So onto the pinky nail now, I'm going to be using Zule's Black Hole to go ahead and uh, I'm going to be putting that on this full nail. It's going to be a full black nail and I'm going to be applying it, of course, very thinly because I will be capping it. Also, y'all, these nails, um, I wanted to go for just a little simple look. I feel like the plaid foil and the... Um, and when I get to the index finger design, I feel like that was good enough for the set. So I just kind of did like a little simple bling and all of that. I feel like it came out really, really cute. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys finish watching me do this pinky nail. And then we're going to move on.
All right, y'all, this is how we're looking with the application complete. And next we're gonna move straight into shaping and filing the nails. Again, I'm gonna kind of speed past this because it's repetitive and you guys can check out my shaping tutorial. It is in depth, very detailed and very helpful. I highly recommend you guys check it out and it will be linked in the description below. Y'all know it's always the thumb for me. <laughs> I'm loving this plaid look. I can actually rock these nails just like this, but I did go ahead and add a couple of li uh, little charms, you know, um, just to add a little bit of blingage, I guess. <laughs> but I wanted to keep them pretty much simple for the most part because like I said, the design that I'll be doing on the um, index fingernail and the plaid is pretty much enough for the set for me. My favorite nail of the set will be the index finger one, and I'm gonna show you guys how I did that here in a moment. But these are how the nails are looking, completely shaped and filed. I love it, I'm loving it so far. Like I said, I can rock them plain like this. Well, of course with like top coat, but um, you guys know what I'm saying. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and buff the nails, dust them off, clean them, all of that. And then we're gonna move on to um, the index fingernail design. All right, y'all, this is how the nails are looking buffed and cleaned. And like I said, they're a vibe all in themselves right now at this point, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple of charms. Um, oh, but first I'm gonna do the index fingernail. And I have all of these foils here, these butterfly foils, um, just to kind of go with the theme of what I, I'm kind of doing. I was going for like orange, yellow theme, so that's why I wanted, I brought out like orange and yellow butterflies. Um, oh, and pink as well. But anyway, here's this Gucci foil that I'm going to be using for the background of this nail. I can't remember where I got it from. Um, I can't remember if it was Duzu Lace sell these. I don't know, y'all. I've had this, this Gucci foil for years, so I can't really tell you where I got it from because I don't I don't recall. But I'm going to go ahead and use McCart's foil glue, um, just like the other um, foil nails, and apply it to this index fingernail and cure it for two minutes. I like to cure my... Um, my foil glue for two minutes i feel like it stick better that way um uh, if you have not tried that try it out instead of 60 seconds um and like i said i never have a problem with the clear foil anyway but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the nail and then apply some butterflies over top 
so i'm just pressing it in really good with my finger and sometimes i like to take my cuticle pushers to just help me really get it on there just to make sure that those spots come off or don't come off rather and if i pull it up and some spots don't come off onto the nail i just lay it back down push it down um, a little bit more and then i bring it up So that is how it's looking y'all it looks pretty good um and if it didn't come off so well then it doesn't matter because i'm going to be applying some butterflies and flowers over top it and um like i said i don't really have a problem with clear foil it's just like the colored foil with the patterns and stuff like that that i have kind of um a bit of trouble with but right now i'm just going ahead and applying some more of that mccart foil gel glue or foil glue gel um, to the nail so that I can apply these butterfly foils over top and I don't want to apply all of them so I'm just cutting out the ones that I want and I'm placing them where I want them to be on the nail um, yeah and like I said I'm pretty much going for like a yellow orange pink type of theme well the pink will only be the flowers in the background but for the butterflies I will be doing yellow and orange also, I'm not sure, quite sure why I got that full that I'm cutting out right now from, but if I had to guess, it was probably AliExpress. And then that, um, the foil that's, um, onto the desk right now with the kind of silver holographic outline to the butterflies, those are all from Shein. So I kind of messed up here because some of that, um, some of that foil from like you see how it overlapped the butterfly a little bit. I kind of messed up there. I wasn't really paying attention, but it's fine because it still came out pretty cute for the most part. And you couldn't, you can't really notice it unless you're really looking. But either way, I still don't care. It came out cute. Just in case, too, any of you're wondering, right there, um, I'm just using a cleanup brush with some alcohol, or not alcohol, acetone on it to kind of remove some of that um, pink flower that came from that foil that kind of got on the skin. That's all. But that is how this nose pretty much... Y'all, <laughs> that is how I've been talking so fast sometimes. That is how this nail is pretty much looking right now. I'm just applying some matte top coat to the nail. I knew I wanted this nail to be matte. I love matte, and I knew this nail would look super bomb matte. But yeah, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to move on to placing a little bit of charms onto the nails. And then that's pretty much it, y'all. But does these nails give y'all kind of like a fall vibe? I know they're not your traditional colors, but I feel like they kind of give me a fall vibe. Like I'm loving the plaid and all of that. Anyway, I did go ahead and make the plaid nails shiny and I didn't put anything on those because like I said, I feel like those were enough like in itself. Um, I didn't want to add too much. Also, real quick before I forget um i just forgot that fast oh <laughs> um it reminded me when i said like when i tripped over my words or whatever and when i said i talked too fast it reminded me of something weird somebody had said to me in the comments like um uh, maybe a week or something ago they're not blocked and deleted but anyways um somebody had said something like i need to learn like how to talk or something like that um if i ever sound weird like for the most part i do and sometimes i talk so fast i trip over my words it's because first of all i talk fast but secondly um for those of you who don't know i have braces and that's what makes me talk a little funny so yeah um i didn't even really have to say that but i'm just letting you guys know because you know and i i'm very aware that um sometimes my videos like uh like the way i talk come across a little bit funny 
Um, I just never had the, you know, inkling to explain why, because I really don't care. But I'm just saying, like, that's why I sound funny. Because when I talk fast, too, I have braces. So it kind of sounds like I have a lisp. That's it. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say that. Anyway, so now I'm going to go in with some charms. I couldn't, I didn't really know at first what I wanted to put on the nail. So I just kind of played around with a few charms. Because I had that Gucci foil on the back of that NX fingernail, I thought a Gucci charm would look, um kind of cute and this gucci charm is from zule i got that from her for a little from a little while ago um just kind of playing around with different charms that i wanted to see how it look on the nail before i glued it down i actually ended up not going with that charm um but you guys will see what i ended up going with anyways <laughs> I thought this one here was like the perfect one when I saw it um, on there. I just kind of had to, and then y'all, I'm crazy. Like, I'm crazy. I have to always flip the nail around and see how it looks that way as well before I glue it down and all of that. Don't, just don't mind me at all. Of course, I'm gonna go in with my labeling adhesive to apply the charm to the nails. And that charm there I got from Shein. It's one of the new charms I picked up from there. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys finish um, watching me apply these like three little charms and then yeah. Also, too, because it's going to be my last time talking about it. Um, I asked when, I asked you guys in one of my videos if I talk too fast for you guys. Um, if I talk too fast that you guys couldn't understand me. And literally the whole comment section said, no, like you don't talk so fast. I understand what you're saying and all of that. It's just that, again, like I said, I have braces. So um, it does sound like I have a lisp, but I don't. Um, and yeah. I try to slow it down sometimes, but it's impossible for me to slow it down. I feel like if I talk slow like this, I'm going to just sound retarded. Like, and it's not comfortable for me. I I cannot talk slow. I'm sorry. Like, I feel like so, like some people, I might sound like I'm talking gibberish um, because I'm talking fast. But um, I do try to slow it down for you guys just a little tiny bit. Like, this right now, how I'm talking, is not even as fast as I talk. But, um yeah like i said the whole comment section said they understood what i was saying like that i understood what i'd be saying so yeah i just hope that makes sense y'all anyways moving on i'm gonna apply this last little charm to the nail which i also got from shein i got all these little charms from shein right here um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and apply that and that's pretty much all i did like i said i wanted to keep it simple and yeah i went ahead and applied some new secret activator spray and here are the final results they're so cute right y'all i love these so much i'm loving the yellow mellow from nail house is one of my favorite acrylics of all times i love the pastel yellow um do these give you guys the even like slightest bit of fall like vibes i feel like they do to me although they're not the traditional fall colors let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up um again leave your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel and turn on your bell notification so that you're notified each and every single time your girl drop thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye for now